not judge you. I don't care to judge you. You will judge yourselves by what you do with what we have to say, by what you can accept and what you can't. It's almost better that you never see me or hear what we say, for that will put you to the test of whether or not you will condemn me, whether or not you will judge me. You cannot hurt me. You cannot hurt these. We do not judge you. It's funny that the world, the mainstream human world, is so quick to condemn and judge as if they were God Almighty. Those who judge them, I speak of. Judge them as if they were God Almighty because they know that what they have done, if they've joined some cult, is the worst thing that they could possibly be possibly do and they're being led down some wrong track into some spurious messiah camp and they're going to the devil what is the devil like know your literature what do the fallen angels feed on what do they like they like things of the flesh of the human flesh things of this world what is told to you in all religious literature that you will find if you ever reach the kingdom of heaven no males no females no children no families other than your relationship with God your Lord your Lord is whichever member of his kingdom he has given to you assigned to you as your helper your instructor your teacher this is so simple that it sounds unreal it's like it would be easier to accept if it were more spiritual if it were more complicated if it had more ritual with it or more trappings of religion in my father's house no incense is required no flowing robes no tingling bells no genuflecting, no sitting in lotus position, no things of spirituality, even though it requires cleansing of the spirit. The spirit is the mind. It requires ridding ourselves of the mind of the human kingdom, ridding ourselves of the lusts of the human kingdom of the binds of the human kingdom being filled with spirit is an interesting thing for you to think about what happened when the illustration was made that Jesus was with John the Baptist and was being baptized and dove descended and he was filled with the Holy Spirit Filled with the Holy Spirit meant that Jesus' mind entered the body he was wearing to the degree that his human mind was no longer affecting him. He had aborted that human kingdom. He was filled with the mind of his Father. The mind of his Father is Holy Spirit. Any mind of the level above human is pure spirit, is holy Spirit, being filled with the Spirit. Being filled with the Spirit is something that comes and knocks you down, makes you fall on the floor because somebody's trying to heal your broken knee. Is not. It's an abomination. It's anything but being filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, a soul is an interesting thing because my Father's kingdom plants souls. And souls become the great separator as they are planted. My Father's kingdom plants souls in many humans. Each time a representative of the kingdom level above human is to be incarnate on planet Earth. Plants many souls in human plants. Now they're really, even though they're planted in the flesh, because the flesh is what have to be, has to be overcome, they're really planted in the spirit. The spirit being the mind or the intelligence of that flesh and then that soul is planted and you can say well does that mean that everybody doesn't have a soul that's what it means 
But it does mean that anybody can have a soul that can believe in my Father, the reality of my Father, the reality of his kingdom. In other words, those who are given the responsibility and the task of planting those souls, plant them in all of the plants that have a potential of taking that stepping stone and out of the human kingdom and into that kingdom because that soul is as the separator helps the individual in their mind and their spirit abort human thinking human evaluation human behavior and replace it with the mind that they get from the representatives the mind of the next level fill it up fill it up Build it up when it is so filled and enough aborting of human mind has occurred then that individual has come to viability has come into bloom enough that that individual is ready to go to quartermaster when they leave this planet and be issued a body of service belonging to the kingdom of my father even if now let me say this all human plants even in their genetic structure have a little bit of heavenly mind or mind of the kingdom of God mind of the evolutionary level above human I have to say all of those each time I say it just to remind you I'm talking about the same thing each plant each human plant has a little bit of that mind in it so theoretically and this is true that if there was a human listening to me that in fact may not at this moment have a soul but that plant listened to me and said could that be true what that guy doe is saying I know it sounds crazy but I wonder if that's true even that degree of curiosity would attract the mind of a crew assigned being sure that that separator is made available to that individual so that that deposit of a soul could happen very very quickly they're not going to let it happen that any potential recipients of their kingdom not have the needed receptacle of spirit coming into full blossom as pure spirit pure mind of the next level what humans called Holy Spirit I want to get back to the urgency the urgency you know I don't know if you're aware that most literature of most religious scholars today say that the calendar that we use today or that humans use today is off by four years and that Jesus was born in four now if Jesus was born in four and this is 96 then this is year 2000 this is the millennium this is the beginning of the end that's why we're talking it is for us to surface with what we're surfacing with we know challenges you to want to squelch us it's interesting that we see the world we see the world as the anti-truth the anti-christ the spurious messiah the world those who want to stay in the world will see us as anti-truth Antichrist, spurious Messiah. We're prepared for that. We know that that is inevitable at this time. That was inevitable 2,000 years ago. That's what got some guy strung on a cross. Remember we said that that third type of person that can actually be salvaged at the end can be taken into the keeping of the next level because they believe in what we say and that's as far as they got is to believe what happened to that individual on the cross beside Jesus who believed and Jesus said this day thou shalt 
be with me in paradise. 